Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will talk about the cultivation process of cotton crop. Cotton has different names in different languages. In Hindi, it is called kapas. The botanical or scientific name of cotton is Gossipium hirsutum and it belongs to the family Malveshi. Cotton crop is an annual or perennial herb or shrub reaching up to 2 meters height. The leaves grow up to 10 centimeters long. The leaves are heart shaped at the base. The flowers of cotton come in different colors from yellowish white, fading pink to pinkish purple. The fruit capsules of cotton grow up to 4 centimeters long. The fruits are broadly ovoid to subglobose beaked at the tip. The fruits are 3 to 5 celled. Each cell contains up to 11 copiously hairy and fuzzy seeds. Cotton crop requires warm and humid climate for its growth and development. It grows well in subtropical regions. The ideal temperature for the cultivation ranges from 25 degrees centigrade to 30 degrees centigrade. Let us now see the stages involved in the cultivation of cotton crop. The stages are land preparation, seed sowing, weeding and intercultural operations, pest and disease management, flowering and bowl formation, harvesting and yield. Let us now see how the land is prepared for the cultivation of cotton. Well-drained loamy soils rich in organic matter, medium black to deep black with suitable soil pH range between 6 to 8 are best suitable for the cultivation of cotton crop. The soil should be ploughed to attain a reasonable depth of 10 to 20 cm with varying clod sizes. The land is prepared by giving 2 to 3 ploughings and clod crushing after each ploughing. Disc plough or chisel plough can be used for ploughing. Compost or farmyard manure around 4 to 5 cart loads should be spread and mixed well into the soil. The land is levelled by using clod crusher after each fertilizer application for proper incorporation of fertilizer. Cotton crop requires very less water, hence there is no need for drip irrigation arrangement. Cotton is a rain fed crop, so water through rains is enough for the growth and development of the crop. Land preparation is now over. Let us now see how the seeds are sown into the field. Soak the seeds in equal volume of pangam leaf extract for 8 hours. Dry the seeds back to original moisture. This will increase the germination rate. The seeds have to be dried in shade. Dibble the seeds at a depth of 3 to 5 cm on the side of the ridge to third height from the top and above the band where fertilizers and insecticides are applied. Maintain the correct spacing and then cover the seeds with soil. In case of intercropping, sow the seeds of the intercrop between the paired rows of cotton in a row. Sow the required number of seeds in each hole. Once seed sowing is complete, the seeds will germinate and seedlings will emerge. Wait for 14 to 15 days. The seedlings will then emerge from the field. Let us now see the measures for weed management in the cultivation process of cotton crop. 
the growth rate of weeds is very high weeds normally have high photosynthetic efficiency the crop production is adversely affected by weeds they reduce yield quality and marketability weed infestation increases the cost of cultivation as control measures require labor material equipment and management some weeds provide hiding place for insect pests and act as host plants for pathogens they block the drainage and impede the flow of water in irrigation channels deep plowing digging and removal of rhizomes and perennial weeds is very necessary periodical harrowing reduces weeds and loss of moisture caused by evaporation for transplanted crops at 25 to 30 days one intercultivation with blade harrow followed by line weeding within the rows is necessary subsequent intercultures at 10 to 12 days intervals till the land is fully covered by crop should be given if the crop is transplanted on ridges the weeding invariably required is at 3 to 4 days intervals preferably with a hand hoe pest and disease management plays an important role in the cultivation process of cotton crop the major pests that can attack the cotton crop are american bollworms leaf hoppers mirids aphids and white flies the crop can be attacked by diseases such as fusarium wilt alternaria leaf blight root rot cercospora leaf spot and bacterial blight to control american bollworm spraying pesticide asafate is required to control leaf hopper insecticide dimethoate can be sprayed to control aphids spraying pesticide imidacloprid is suggested and white flies can be controlled by spraying insecticide neem seed oil to control fusarium wilt spraying of carbendazim is suggested and leaf spot can be controlled by spraying mancozeb mancozeb can also be used to control alternaria leaf blight and anthracnoz to control root rot drenching in carbon dazin is suggested this was about pest and disease management for the cultivation process of cotton crop let us now see the flowering and bowl formation stage in the cultivation process of cotton crop cotton flowers usually self pollinate however bees or other insects may increase the frequency of cross pollination temperatures above 100 degrees fahrenheit and moisture rain or high humidity reduce pollination a bloom will not pollinate after the first day the creamy or white petals of the flower turn pink after 24 hours and shed within a week as the fertilized ovules of the ovary grow into a bowl not every bowl that is formed on the plant makes it to maturity if enough ovules do not fertilize the bowl will fall from the plant 7 to 10 days after flowering insects will then feed on or bore into the bowl damage done to small developing bowls 1 to 10 days of age will result in the bowls dropping off harvesting should start when enough mature bowls are fully open the ideal time is usually from the middle to the end of january it is important that harvesting should be supervised for higher yields and a more complete pick persons picking cotton should not be allowed to randomly pick all over the field as they wish but should be assigned specific rows at a time stained cotton 
and trash should not be harvested. The average yield for cotton is 1500 pounds per hectare. Thank you for watching our tutorial on the cultivation process of cotton crop. Stay connected with tutorialspoint.com to watch our next tutorials on the cultivation process of different crops. tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning.